There is another example, such as 368 divided by 6. Again, let's remember the steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, and breaking down. This is the number of the multiple, and here is the multiples of the divisor, which is 6. The first number that we are going to divide is 3. The division step that we have to find the 3 among the multiples of 6. 3 comes between the 0 and 6. Draw the string and the bubble around the 0. The bubble flies and pops here on the top of 3. This is the step of division. Now we have to multiply the 0 times 6. 0 times 6 equals 0. And we put the answer underneath 3, the number that we are dividing. Okay? Next step, we have to subtract 0 from 3. 3, three take away 0 equals 3. Time to bring down the next digit, which is 6. The arrow only reaches the subtraction line. Okay, guys? Now, and the 6 besides the, th the 3, and we have a new number to divide by 6, which is 36. Second step, we have to look back again on the next process, which is division. 36 among these multiples, here is 36. It is already there in the timetable of 6. String, bubble, always on the top of the string, because it's a bubble, always flies, takes the number on the top of the second digit that we brought down. Here is 6. So this is division. Now it's time to multiply. 6 times 6 equals 36. It's time to subtract. The answer is 6, take away 6 is 0. 3, take away 3 is 0. The last step is bringing down the last digit, which is 8. Again, do the division. Where is 8? It's between 6 and 12. Here is 8. String, bubble, 1 flies up, pops on the top of the number that we brought down. Here is 1. Multiply 6 times uh, 1 times 6 equals 6. Subtract 8 take away 6 equals 2. Nothing to bring down. We are done again. 368 divided by 6 equals 61 remainder 2. This is the dividend divided, the 6 is the divisor, equals the quotient 61, and the remainder is 2.